Fury Friday! Today, we're going to answer a question that I was asked last weekend. It's a very good question, and it made me think really hard. So last weekend we were at Harley, Frontier Harley-Davidson for the all-women's bike show and they had a 2019 Honda Fury there for sale. Um, it was the all like dark blue one, it was super cool, the black motor, I'm sitting there going, mm, man, do we need another one? Because I think we do and then um, I was able to talk myself out of it but a gentleman asked me, somebody who watches the channel, he said, which Harley-Davidson would you compare the Fury to? And I thought, man, that's that's actually a really tough question. Because for the price, you would think, well, I'd compare it to a Sportster, right? Because, or even a Street, maybe? Probably a Sportster. Um, and a Sportster with an 1100 engine is going to be even more. So like an 883 Sportster, I guess. And I said, but wait, hold on. I said, a Sportster's got a little peanut tank. If I'm talking about the 883, it's like what, two and a half gallon, three gallon tank or something like that? Well, this one's almost four gallons. So I can't really compare it to that either. Also because of how low the center of gravity is on this bike and a Sportster has a really high center of gravity, right? Because it's a sport bike, you know, they were made to go around tracks, you know, so. I can't really compare it necessarily to that. I would compare it, I guess, in price for a used one. So what's the next step up? Well, right now, the next step up is a soft tail. It has the mono shock, just like this bike does. So then you think, well, if I'm going to compare it to a soft tail, which soft tail am I going to compare it to? Because I can't compare it to, like, a Heritage. Because... It's got the FL front end, a big front tire, but it's got bags and stuff on it too. So it's like, well, I can't really compare this to that because of that stuff, right? Because this is more of a bar hopper bike. There's a lot of people that tour on them. There's a lot of people that ride them really, really long distances. I get it. There's also people that ride Sportsters a long ways too. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I can't really compare it to a Heritage. Okay, so I'm going to go down, so I'm going to compare it to a, well, I can't really compare it to a Deluxe because it has the big front end also and the wide front tire. Then you move down, well, the Slim. Well, nope, can't compare it to a Slim because it also has a big front tire. So then I think, well, what's the next one down from that that has a smaller front tire, okay, a skinny front tire? Well, there's the Street Bob. And the Street Bob has a skinnier front tire. Okay, perfect. It's got a mono shock. Yeah, okay. The price is nowhere near the same. But then I think, hmm, no, I cannot compare it to that. Because I have ridden Miss Stevie's soft tail. I have ridden a new Street Bob. That new soft tail rides so good and is so comfortable this doesn't ride bad don't get me wrong but it doesn't ride anything like that new soft tail does that soft tail of miss stevie's rides better than my touring bike does with stock suspension but if i'm asked which harley davidson i would compare this to i can't compare it to any of the soft tails because that soft tail suspension is so good. I can't compare it to a Sportster. I can't compare it to a soft tail. I obviously cannot compare it to a touring bike. This is comfortable, don't get me wrong. If you've got one of these and you go really long distances on them, I get it. Because I think I can go a really long distance on this bike. And sometime this year, we're gonna find out. So okay, I, I'm not going to compare it to any of them, right? But then I think, hold on. Hold on. There's an old frame 
from Harley Davidson that I can compare this to. It's not a monoshock, but Harley built them for a long time. And that is the Dyna. So now I've got to go through in my head and I've got to think, man, which Dyna can I compare this to? I obviously can't compare it to a Lowrider S because the Lowrider S has got a 110 in it, right? Um, I could compare it to a Lowrider, yes, but at the same time, it still has a 103 engine in it, right? That's 300 cc's bigger than this one. So then I think, man, I can't compare it to anything with a 103 in it, then can I? Oh, oh yes, I can. Let me explain. This bike runs so much smoother than a Harley engine. My 103 and my Road King and any 103 or any twin cam below the Milwaukee 8 does not hold a candle to how smooth this bike runs. Now, that makes a huge difference when you're rolling on the throttle. And hopefully that's not the popo. So which Dyna can I can I compare this to? I think if you're gonna put them next to each other as far as looks and performance and stuff like that, you would think that this one would be just like a Dyna Street Bob, right? Yeah, because they're pretty close to each other. Uh-uh, we're forgetting about a bike. We're forgetting about a bike that's got a wide front end and still a skinny tire. We're forgetting about a bike that's got a little bit wider rear tire. No, I'm not talking about the Rocker C. Come on, that's a joke, right? I'm talking about the Dyna Wide Glide. I think you can put this bike in a direct side-by-side -side comparison with the Dyna Wide Glide. Which one would be better? Which one would I rather have? Well, it just so happens that my cousin has a Dyna Wide Glide. And I've ridden it. I've ridden it quite a few times. The thing that I don't like about that bike is that I'm too stretched out on it. My feet are too far forward, farther forward than this. So therefore my little short legs, I have a hard time riding it. A harder time riding that than I do riding this, right? The one, the Dyna Wide Glide that I rode had an 88 inch engine in it. I am totally convinced that this little bit smaller than 80 inch engine could wax the floor on that. I mean, look what it does against my Road King. Look what it does against Miss Stevie's bike. Look what it did against Todd's 103. Uh, I don't think you guys ever saw that. <laughs> I think that footage ended up being lost somewhere. Lost. Just side by side rolling start. This thing waxed the floor on Todd's 103 and is slim. The Harley needs to be in a lower gear than this one does to, to pull away from it. So now you gotta think, Okay, so the Wide Glides had 103s in them for a while. Um, Price-wise, the Dyna Wide Glide is way more expensive than this Honda Fury. So to answer the question, which Harley Davidson would I compare this bike to? I would compare it to a Dyna Wide Glide. If I had them sitting side by side and I went out and rode them, this is my own personal opinion. Hands down, without a doubt, I would buy the Honda Fury. I would buy the Honda Fury over any Dyna, to be honest with you, because I'm going to do the same thing with this bike that I'm going to do with the Dyna. And granted, the Dyna's got a five gallon tank. Okay, that's great. I understand that there are people that go you now coast to coast on their Dynas, no problem whatsoever. I get it. They'll go six, seven hundred. I'm sure, I mean, people have gone iron butts on their Sportsters, right? I, I'm sure somebody's done an iron butt on a Dyna. I ain't saying they aren't having. I don't know if anybody's done an iron butt on a Fury, though. That's something to think about. Would I be the first? Would I be the first to document it at least? Not necessarily document it through the iron butt deal, but put it on YouTube. New challenge! I'm doing an iron butt on the Fury. 
Hopefully this year. <laughs> Hopefully I got time. But I am going to do an iron butt on the Fury. Yeah! That's... I'm pumped. I want to go do it right now, but I can't. So, the bike that I would compare this to, Dyna. Which Dyna? The Dyna Wide Glide. Which bike would I rather have? I'd rather have the Fury. Hands down, I'm saying it right now. Would I buy a Dyna Wide Glide? Yes. Do I enjoy riding a Dyna Wide Glide? Yes. Do I think they're awesome looking bikes? Yes. I would love to have one sitting right next to this. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I just, I am a big fan of this Honda Fury. And the more and more people that comment on our videos and say, man, I just bought a Fury because of your videos. I am yet to have one say, I never thought about buying a Fury until I saw your videos and now I own one. <laughs> that, would be, that would be cool, right? I mean, I'd go for that. The whole birds, man. So yeah, so yeah. I'm pumped about the iron butt on this. I'm gonna have to do something different with these controls though because maybe I'll just have to wear different boots. That would be an easy fix. I'd just wear different boots. My shoes slide off of these uh, just because they're they're worn smooth. The grip stuff is kind of gone on it. So, okay, right, I'm gonna do an iron butt on the Fury. Then hopefully Miss Stevie will go with me so that she can carry my stuff. <laughs> oh man. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. And I hope you did. I really hope that there was good information on here. I'm sure somebody's going to come on here and say, You suck! But hey, I did a short intro this time and I got right to the point. I didn't do any updates. I didn't do any announcements. So I'm going to do it right now. May 30th, the Great Plains Moto Meetup ride. We're going to meet at Frontier Harley-Davidson at 11 a.m. Blacktop Devil is coming. He is coming. He's confirmed. He's coming. So if you guys want to come ride with your favorite YouTuber, I'll be there. Miss Stevie will be there. I think, um, I think, <laughs> I think Rocky's going to lead it for us again. <laughs> because I talked to his wife at the all-women's bike show, and I, I, I put her on it. Shelly's going to handle it. She's gonna make Rocky lead the no. Rocky's awesome. He'll read the he'll he'll lead it. He'll lead it. I don't know if he'll watch this video or not, but if you do, hit me up and uh, I'll send you the route whenever you're ready. Also, Miss Stevie is going to go on the world record poker run. If you guys still don't know what the world record poker run is, it is a poker run that they are doing from Florida to Sturgis, leaving Florida July 30th, ending up in Sturgis August 6th. 3,200 miles, a world record for the longest poker run. Miss Stevie's going on that, Stevie Todd's going on that, the Badgers are going on that, and I've heard rumor of another moto vlogger from Florida going, and I'm going to leave it at that for right now. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next, and until next time, everybody stay cool. Why do I always do this on a hill? I need to not do it on a hill so I can see the other side. See if the cops coming. Everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.